The RIM-116 rolling airframe missile is a small, lightweight, infrared homing surface-to-air missile in use by the American, German, South Korean, Greek, Turkish, Saudi and Egyptian navies. It was intended originally and used primarily as a point defense weapon against anti-ship cruise missiles. The missile is so named because it rolls around its longitudinal axis to stabilize its flight path, much like a bullet fired from a rifled barrel. It is the only U.S. Navy missile to operate in this manner. The rolling airframe missiles, together with the MK-49 guided missile launching system and support equipment, comprise the RAM MK-31 guided missile weapon system. The MK-144 guided missile launcher unit weighs 5,777 kilograms and stores 21 missiles. The original weapon cannot employ its own sensors prior to firing so it must be integrated with a ship's combat system, which directs the launcher at targets. On American ships it is integrated with the ANSWY-2 Ship Defense Surface Missile System and Ship Self-Defense System MK-1 or MK-2-based combat systems. CRAM, a weapon system model equipped with independent sensors, is undergoing testing. Development The RIM-116 was developed by General Dynamics Promenade and Valley Systems Divisions under a July 1976 agreement with Denmark and West Germany. Denmark dropped out of the program, but the USN joined in as the major partner. The MK-49 launcher was evaluated on board the USA David Araya, DD-971 in the late 1980s. The first 30 missiles were built in FY85 and they became operational on November 14, 1992, on board the Ossa Palelua, LHA-5. Service The RIM-116 is in service on several American and 30 German warships. All new German Navy warships will be equipped with a RAM, such as the new Braunschweig class corvettes, which will mount two RAM launchers per ship. The Greek Navy has equipped the new Super Vita class fast attack craft with a RAM. South Korea has signed license production contracts for their navies KDXE, KDXII, and Dokdo class amphibious assault ship. U.S. Navy The U.S. Navy plans to purchase a total of about 1,600 RAMs and 115 launchers to equip 74 ships. The missile is currently active aboard Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carriers. Nimitz class aircraft carriers, Wasp class amphibious assault ships, Tarawa class amphibious assault ships, San Antonio class amphibious transport dock ships, Whit Bay Island class dock landing ships, Harpers Ferry class dock landing ships, and Littoral combat ships. There are plans in place to equip Oliver Hazard Perry class frigates with ram launchers. Variants Block Zero, also known as RIM 116A in U.S. service, the original version called Block Zero whose design is based on that of the AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile, from which it took its rocket motor, fuse, and warhead. Block Zero missiles initially home in on active radiation emitted from a target. Then, the terminal guidance is done by an infrared seeker derived from that of the FIM-92 Stinger missile. In test firings, the Block Zero missiles achieved hit rates of over 95%. Block 1, the Block 1 is an enhanced version of the RAM missile that adds an overall infrared-only guidance system that enables it to intercept missiles that are not emitting any radar signals. The Block 0's passive radar homing capabilities have been retained. Block 2, the RAM Block 2 is an upgraded version of the rolling airframe missile ship self-defense missile system. The RAM Block II missile upgrade aim is to more effectively counter the emerging threat of more maneuverable anti-ship missiles. The U.S. Navy awarded Raytheon Missile Systems a $105 million Block II RAM development contract on May 8, 2007, with the missile development expected to complete by December 2010. LRIP began in 2012. 51 missiles were initially ordered. On October 22, 2012, the RAM Block II completed its third guided test vehicle flight, firing two missiles in a salvo and directly hitting the target. This verified the command and control capabilities of the system, upgraded kinematic performance, guidance system, and airframe capabilities. 
Raytheon was scheduled to deliver 25 Block II missiles during the integrated testing phase of the program. The Block II RAM was delivered to the U.S. Navy in late August 2014, with 502 missiles to be acquired from 2015 to 2019. HAS mode, in 1998, a memorandum of understanding was signed by the Defense Departments of Germany and the United States to improve the system, so that it could also engage so-called HAS, helicopter, aircraft, and surface targets. As developed, the HAS upgrade just required software modifications that can be applied to all Block 1 RAM missiles. CRAM The CRAM combines the radar and electro-optical system of the Phalanx CIWSMK-15 Block 1B with an 11-cell RAM launcher to produce an autonomous system, one which does not need any external information to engage threats. Like the Phalanx, CRAM can be fitted to any class of ship. In 2008 a CRAM system was delivered to be installed on USA Independency, LCS-2. As of December 2013, one CRAM is fitted to each Independence class vessel. General Characteristics Primary Function, Surface-to-Air Missile, Contractor, Raytheon, DBGT Defense, Length, 2.79 am, Diameter, 127 am, Fin Span, 434 am, Speed, Mach 2.0 Plus, Warhead, 11.3 kg Blast Fragmentation, Launch Weight, 73.5 kg, Range, 9 km, Guidance System, 3 Modisa Euro Passive Radio Frequency Infrared Homing, Infrared Only, or Infrared Dual Mode Enabled, Unit Cost, $998,000, Date Deployed, 1992, Operators, a Egypt, a Saudi Arabia, a Greece, a Japan, a South Korea, a Turkey, a United Arab Emirates, a United States, a Germany, references, notes. Bibliography. External links. RIM-116 RAM Rolling Airframe Missile, globalsecurity.org, RIM-116 RAM, Rolling Airframe Missile, Waffenkter, Raytheon RIM-116 RAM, Designation Systems. RAM on the homepage of German developer and manufacturer DLBGT.